Hi, I'm James from Spurk Airsoft and welcome back to another video. In this video we're taking a look at a really nice pistol brought to you from EMG and it's from the White Box Massive. So we'll get to it in just a moment. So yes, this next gun is something from the White Box Massive and I say that because these things are probably put in the nicest exterior boxes that I've ever found any airsoft product unless it comes in like a case with some certain rifles. Of course, love it or hate it, this is a Salient Arms product. Salient Arms has been around for a while now. It really caught on traction when it was in a few movies and people really obsessed over this stuff as well as as well as myself, um, I've had a few silent products over the years and this is a really nice pistol. To get the boring stuff out of the way first, this is based on a Glock. So those of you that don't really like Glocks, um, perhaps not the pistol for you, but stick around, you know, this might have something that you like. Um, if not, it's just nice to know more about more products, isn't it? Or is it just me that troubles YouTube at weird hours of the night? Yeah, just me. So you've got this lovely white, cardboard box, lovely lettering and stuff on it. I don't really look at the block boxes usually, but you know, this is one of the selling points of these pistols because they're not cheap pistols, they are quite expensive. So let's open the box and we take this lid off. And it's very rigid, nice and thick, it doesn't flex. It's not really a uh, bad quality box like some of the stuff that Aries do, like the Aries Strikers and bits and pieces. The boxes that they come in are just, let's face it, the, the, the left wanting. Um, so in the box you have the gun and the magazine in a clear plastic bag like that. I'm just going to see if there's anything underneath. Let's take the stuff out first. So we've got the magazine, gas magazine, got the pistol, I've got this moulded plastic thing here, which nothing underneath, no manual or anything like that. But it's nice that this is moulded perfectly to hold the pistol in its place. Get rid of the box. Let's get rid of the plastic bits and pieces. <coughs> So we've actually done a Glock before on the show with the W Glock Gen 5. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about EMG, this is uh, an offshoot of Evike, and they basically use their licenses uh, for certain products that they sell. This pistol in particular is made by Armour Works. Armour Works being an offshoot of WE, and the, the, the probably goes on and on and on, but um, WE, Armorworks is a sister company, they tend to have better quality control, uh, they tend to have a bit more flair and a bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, a bit more appeal to the airsofter. I mean, WE as a brand do some custom pistols as well, but they're already they're always done in this way that people, well, I can't speak for everybody, but in this way that it just looks a bit weird. Um, they do some funky slides and such, which... I'm glad that they set Armour Works up because Armour Works are doing some really nice designs. Um, they've done this salient Glock, which is the BLU. Um, so, licensed by EMG, it's got all the trades on there, as you'll see. To get a few of the boring bits out of the way straight away, this is not an ambidextrous pistol. Magazine release is found on the left-hand side, as well as the slide release. Um, all the same features of a Glock. Uh, this, the, Frame is very much the same shape, -ish. same as the slide, sights are the same. This runs pretty much exactly the same as like a WE styled Glock uh, 17. Go away, plastic bag. Um, but you'll see obviously some differences and the fact that this is fully traded, it's licensed, it's got all the correct markings on it. There's no WE nonsense on here, what they like to put on there, weird logos and weird letters. So, polymer frame, metal slide, metal out of barrel, things that you're used to, but let's go over some of the certain features that sets this apart from your 
let's say your WE Glocks or your Armour Works VX hex cut Glocks. Um, like I said, it's licensed, got all the correct markings on there, massive plus. Um, polymer frame, extended aluminium magwell on the bottom here. It's got a gold uh, anodized aluminium plate on the back here as well for your grip. Doesn't come with extra grips in the box, this is the only one that comes on the pistol, but you know, it's nice gold. To be honest, I'd rather it been black because it just looks a bit weird. Magazine release, however, is nice in gold. That's a nice feature. Silent Arms logo on the magazine release as well. Extended uh, slide release, which can be found on a lot of Glock pistols nowadays that come out. Um, but you've got this really nice trigger, and we're going to get more into about that trigger in a minute because it's probably one of the best features on the pistol. The frame has this lovely sort of hex cut style trigger guard where they've cut uh, meat away and they've put this molded stippling type thing on there very very nice love that feature love the rail section here just as well as like the we glocks the serial number tag can be pushed as a safety but i suggest you never do that um, most people tend to remove this and put like a real serial number plate their guns but if i do some fully recommend that because nothing worse than just going to fire your pistol the safety's on you can't get it off and then you realize it's because that tab has moved towards the rear of the pistol so aluminium top slide logos all over here i'm going to remove these stickers we've got made in taiwan on the left let's get rid of that and then we've got a warning sticker Ooh. so we've got sailor arms international down the left hand side of the uh, slide uh, on the right hand side we've got salient and then we've got the logo we've got sar on the barrel on the top we've got the salient logo and we've got nine millimeter i mean a nine millimeter glock and then we've got sar on the barrel which you can see through the port, probably can't see it on the camera, but we'll get some close-ups and I'll overlay them on the video for you. Serrations and cuts into the slide for uh, weight reduction, I presume, it's ported as well. Um, nice positive grip, depending on whether you're pulling the back or the front of the slide, uh, whether you've got gloves on or not, it's gonna be really easy, really easy to operate. Same logo on the back here with this uh, polymer plate on the back here. Iron sights are okay. Salient logo on the back, front one's a fiber optic, rear one has no fiber optic, cap uh, fiber optic features on it whatsoever, so it is a little bit dull compared to like a standard Glock where you normally have the white, the white dot and the uh, U on the back. Um, the front sight is really easy to pick up, but the rear sight is very dull, it's not very prominent, it would be nice to have some fiber optic red tubes on there. Moving to the front, you got an aluminium barrel, and then you've got a thread, uh, thread adapter and a thread protector on there. The thing to notice about this thread adapter and the thread protector, the thread adapter screws into the barrel clockwise, the thread protector screws onto the thread adapter anti-clockwise. So trying to tighten up the thread protector loosens the adapter and trying to tighten up the adapter loosens the thread protector. So it's gonna be something you have to get used to. What I'd recommend, if you're gonna run this thread protector, if you're gonna use in tracers or uh, suppressors or anything like that, I would recommend thread locking this adapter in place, letting it set, and then you're able to use the thread, thread protector and stuff like that. Having used pistols myself with thread protectors, I run an FNX 45, I've run it for about four years now. I did lose my thread protector because I was at a Milsim event and it was rubbing on my jeans and I didn't notice and somewhere in a field in Wales, there's an FNX 45 thread protector in the grass somewhere. Um, so I, if you're not gonna remove this and you just want it on there for the look, because it does look very well, it's very nicely machined. Uh, you obviously got uh, knurling on the end there and then it's got like a hex cut style at the back. Either a bit of thread lock or literally you could just run some PTFE tape around. It's probably gonna be the easiest just to stop it falling off uh, under its own weight. So lovely stippling on the slot, on the frame. It's nice to have that and not have it. The frame is very comfortable. Like I say, if you're a Glock fan, you're gonna love this. If you're not a Glock fan, probably not. Uh, you've got like a nice extended uh, dovetail on the back here, which is nice and comfortable in the hand. To me, I've been shooting Glocks for a long time. I haven't owned a Glock myself personally for a long time as well, um, but I've been shooting Glocks from the full time I've been airsofting over the past 11 or plus years. Um, so Glocks are very familiar to me and I do like shooting Glocks. Uh, when I went to Vegas and shot the real Glock 17, it was just that familiar range of shooting better, better with that than the other pistols that I tried. Um, 
So what I would like to have seen on this pistol is a gold barrel as well. Salient are well known for their gold parts and normally on a salient pistol, you've got a gold barrel, uh, titanium nitride, I think they call it or something like that. Um, so the main feature that should have a gold appearance hasn't. It's got more of a stealth look, but for those of you that don't want that bling, it's gonna be great for you because most of the gold parts are covered up anyway um, when you grip in the, the frame here. Pulling it up, it's nice and firm. There's not much rattle on the slide. Not, no different to any other Glock 17 pistol on the market. Lock the slides to the rear, just like so. And then you wanna pull the tabs down on each side of the frame and let go of the slide release, push it forward. Slide comes off. You can see the very prominent Armour Works red nozzle there. This pistol will work with green and green gas magazines and CO2 magazines, um, just like all the Armour Works stuff they're putting out now. Uh, but if you're familiar with the WE Glock 17, this is all gonna be exactly the same, spring guide and everything like that. So I'm not gonna pull all that out for you because it's pretty much exactly the same as a W Glock 17. Um, but it's nice that the, I like the arm works, I like what they've done with the, uh, the red nozzles. It makes it easy to differentiate what it is. And they also put a red router on the gas magazine as well. The gas magazine has an extended bumper much like the Armour Works hex cut magazines but the difference with this one of course is, is that it has SAI and the, uh, the Sony Arms logo on the base plate. What I will say to you is if you want the magazines to match it's perfect you know you can find them so Glock, uh, gas mag CO2 mags they'll work just fine in this pistol nice and positively lock in place uh, locks the slide for here as well however the magazines from EMG tend to be a little bit more expensive. And when I say tend to be a little bit more expensive, I mean tends to be a lot more expensive. If you want to save a few pounds, uh, if you want to pick this pistol up and you want some spare magazines, you can pick up the Armworks Hex Cut Gas Magazines. They're exactly the same magazine, they just don't have the same arms logos on the bottom. And you'll probably find you save a fair amount of discount you know, on the magazine, unless you're going over to the, uh, the EMG magazines. Now I'm waffling on now. But this is even more so in their 2011 DS uh, high capper series. The CO2 magazines for those are like nearly nearly 100 pounds, absolutely extortionate. Um, but if you want the salient logos and bits on there and with the 1911s, the high cappers, like I said, they've got CNC bumpers as well. So if you want it all to match, then of course you're gonna have to pay that premium. So like I said, all the controls, like a Glock 17, and I'll keep saying that, what would you be choosing this over an off-the-shelf WE Glock 17? Well, for instance, quality, quality control is much, much better. Uh, slides, trades, everything like that. Is it worth the extra money? I believe so. If you're gonna be running this pistol um, as your main secondary sidearm and you want a little bit more realism, this is gonna be perfect for yourselves. This is a bit of a love or hate relationship on the back here with this bump, this uh, magazine grip thing. I'm not sure if they do spares. There's only one in the box, so it only comes with the one. You can't change it out. It looks like it's interchangeable. Whether they sell them separately, I do not know. Uh, but it's got to be mentioned. Magazine release is nice and easy to find. It's nice and prominent. It's got a very positive feel when you press it as well. It's not like some of the Gen 3 and the Gen 4 Glocks where the magazine release can feel a little bit janky. So that's the overview of the pistol itself. Let's get this in front of the chrono. Let's chrono the thing and then let's do the usual 10 meter or so shooting distance test thing. Give me Bob. Yeah. So that was really surprising. Um, considering what it's based on, so if you boil it down to its very simplest existence, it's a WE Glock 17. I have never 
had a Glock 17 from WE out of the box shoot like this does. This trigger that they fitted is so, so good. And that isn't giving it any, oh, I'm lost for words. The trigger on this pistol out of the box is probably one of the best triggers, if not the best trigger I have ever used on an out of the box pistol where you haven't had to like bolt on an upgrade part whether it be like a guns modify or a UAC trigger. The breaking point on this pistol you'll see here so it breaks and then the reset is right there. So I reckon there's about three or four mil travel between the reset and the break. It's so predictable. It's so nice and just I'm lost for words. Honestly, I'm lost for words. I fired a lot of W Glock 17s and I fired the Armor Works VX uh, Series 17 and the 18s. You'll notice from the chrono test it was doing about 3.30 on the first few shots. I didn't gas the magazine properly. That was my fault. I thought I'd put enough gas in the magazine, but I hadn't, so it did about seven or eight rounds. Um, and then it ran out, obviously, which is unheard of for one of these systems, but... Uh, that was just a fault of mine. Once I put, after you'll see in the chrono readings, you know, after the gun ran out of gas, I went and just filled it with green gas again. The first shot was about 352, so on a full magazine fill of gas in a warm environment, because it's probably about 18 degrees in here. Um, the first shot was about 352, so um, I imagine that's just because I'd fired it a, a, a bit. Hadn't gassed it up properly, filled it up again, and away you go. I haven't messed with the hot unit. I'm using uh, 0.2 gram Aries BBs, straight from the BLS factory, some of the best BBs you can get. Um, what I have noticed from firing it just is that the adapter and the thread protector did come loose. So that is going to be something that you're going to want to either thread lock or put some plumber's tape, PTFE tape, whatever more, Teflon tape on there to stop it from coming loose. That that trigger makes the pistol. Whether you like sailing arms, whether you don't, whether you just want a Glock 17 that's a bit more fancy, but you don't want a gold barrel, that has got to be the best firing Glock 17 out of the box because this is as it comes as you buy it. You haven't got to strap on loads of optional extra parts. This is as it comes out of the box. The best of available Glock 17 from the WE or the offshoot of WE that I've ever fired, and that is saying something I know I shouldn't try and pick up on the best points of these things um, and also the worst so you know the thread protector obviously that's going to be an issue the rear sight is absolutely pants um, firing at the target 10 meters um, I could pick up the green fiber optic straight away the rear sight was a little bit more difficult the amount of aftermarket upgrade parts for these things that are available or you could even just put on the back serrated edge here you could just put some white paint or something there just so you can pick up the rear sight a little bit easier and that would that would solve it. Um, magazines are expensive if you're buying the EMG ones because EMG are buying them from Armorworks, so it's going from Armorworks to EMG, EMG to your distributor, whether, whichever country you're in. So the distributor where we buy it from, then we buy it from the distributor so that you can see where the price goes up and up and up. But I would honestly say, if you put every WE Glock 17 in front of me, as well as every Armour Works Glock variant in front of me, and this, this is the exact pistol that I pick. Um, I haven't personally fired the compact, the 19 styled uh, EMG pistol. Um, when I grabbed these uh, from the warehouse, I just didn't even think to grab one. Um, but I am superbly surprised with that. That was on point twos. Probably run a pistol on at least a 2.5. Most tend to run them on 2.8s or 3s. I'd probably run on a 3 because you're engaging at a short distance. You might as well use heavy ammo for added accuracy. But the accuracy out of that thing, I mean, there, were, there wasn't even 10 holes in the target. I fired 10 rounds at that target. All of the rounds hit the target in the spe specified place of where I was aiming. Um, but there's not 10 holes. So I'll have to look back at the video in the slow motion, but it must have been that on the ball. Uh, and the, the results speak for themselves. We do the same test with all the pistols that we put on the show. Um, accuracy, good. 
performance good, nice and snappy. The trigger is the best standard out the box trigger I have ever used. That to me sells the pistol in itself. It is, it is a you know, north 200 pound pistol, it's not cheapest pistol out there. Um, but at least you're getting all these extra little features. The slide's good, the serrations are nice. Uh, gives you a nice positive you know, lock on the slide, whether you're gripping it from the front or the back. Um, serrations are sort of pointed at an angle towards the front and off. So it's very easy to grab that. As well as all glocks, you're gonna get a little bit, the, the barrel is gonna be the first part to wear. Being that it's from W Arm Works, you know, extended slide release on there from the get-go, so that's got you covered, it's easy to find. Uh, magazine release is very, very nice, very springy, very positive, very easy to find, very predictable of where the brake is to release the magazine. Gas efficiency is good. Me filling up the gas with enough, uh, me filling up the magazine with enough gas is bad, that's my fault. Um, the, the pistol is very comfortable to hold. I am a bit of a Glock fan over the years. I don't use a Glock at the moment. Um, I actually don't own a Glock, but uh, you never know. This could probably change it. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Bringing It Home. I hope you've enjoyed this pistol. I hope we've cleared up a few things that you want to know about this pistol. What I have been hearing from you guys on the Facebook messages when you've been and when you've been calling me and, and letting me know, you seem to like these videos. Uh, you seem to like the sort of personal touch I put on them. I try to be, like I say, as unbiased and nice as possible. Um, any information you want to know about this pistol or any other pistol. Um, that we have on the website, please feel free to email me. It's james at bespokeairsoft.co.uk. Come straight through to me, I'll be the only one that answers it. Um, but by all means, you can call us and send messages to Facebook and everything. I answer all the messages. That's probably why it does take a little bit longer than usual because I go through them myself. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed this pistol. I'm happy with this. You're going to be absolutely ecstatic with this as well. Just make sure you fill up the magazine with enough gas. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Hope you enjoy the series. More Saint Arms pistols coming up this week. Uh, this is the Salient Arms BLU from EMG. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.